Mercury, Mercury. Harry, I need Harry! 
finally when he gets help from Harry. They got their tuna out of the water. Oh, they got that tuna. They got the tuna. Don't you see, librarian? What did you see? Then, so the fishermen catch the tuna that has obtained the bacteria that had the mercury. Exactly. Exactly. And what happens to this tuna? It goes to the market, of course. All over the world? Uh, all over the world. Over, over here, to the market. One dollar. One dollar. Only one dollar? Well, in some places it's one dollar. But in other places it's two dollar. And it goes all the way up the price chain. And then an Asian lady comes and buys it. I would like some tuna. And she buys the tuna. She buys that tuna. She buys the tuna. Well, and let's see what she does with it. And she fries it. <laughs> Mercury tuna. Um, Are you serious? Yes. Do you know what kind of effects that has? On what? She's it pregnant. It must be good. It has effects on that big belly of hers. On the fetus. What's the fetus? Oh, dearie. Are you educated? A fetus. A fetus. You were once a fetus, young lady. No, I wasn't. I yes, wasn't. Yes, you were. You were in that stomach. You were a fetus. You know what? That process that got you there. You know what? I'm not even going to get that because you all just have no idea, do you? Professor Claude here, I have a question. Go right ahead, dearie. So, how does the fish with the mercury in it, how does that affect the fetus? Good question. Good question. I'm glad you asked that question. It affects the cognitive skills of the fetus and the, and the motor skills of the fetus. Now, that's the, yes, that's one of the impacts it so, has. So it's bad. It's not good to have mercury in your belly when you are pregnant. No, not at all. All right, I understand. So that's quite interesting. What happens? What happens if a person who's not pregnant eats fish with mercury? In it? it stays in your system just a little bit, but it's not very harmful because the fish tuna, preferably the one most commonly eaten, doesn't have that high to have very many effects on uh, adult humans, but it does on fetuses. Oh. Oh. But mind you, the chart. That diagram, the tuna, the amount of methyl mercury, they're inaccurate. And this is why tuna and mercury have been such a big problem. No one can tell how much methyl mercury is in tuna. So they don't tell you how much mercury well, is in tuna? No, that's not true. They just, they can't figure out, they can't figure out, dearie, at all. They just, they chop them messed up and they don't specify which species has which. And it's just so confusing, so be careful when you eat it. So anybody could ingest the mercury. Anyone! That's horrible! It, it certainly is, dearie. You should never have too much fish, I'm especially canned tuna. I'm never eating tuna again. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad I talked something to you uneducated folks. It's well, good to get some education every once in a while, isn't it? Uh, yes. It's actually quite worth it. And thank you for joining me on one of Claudio's lectures. Oh, Professor Claudio.